This is Gilnor, a land filled with opportunity and adventure. There's hundreds of quests to complete, many skills to master, and awesome bosses to defeat. My goal is to take on all of these challenges and maybe one day achieve that sweet completionist cave. My name is Diggy Mole, and this is my journey. There we go, impressing the locals complete. Got a quest point for that, and most importantly, we have access to the Ark, which means we can do Elite Dungeons. I'm not sure if it's all three of them, but I know certainly can do ED1. Uh, we've got a friend of ours, Antonin, he's willing to take me and my cousin Liam with him. He's going to show us the ropes. Uh, we're not going to do any of the main bosses, we're not, we're not geared up for that yet, but we can do the mini bosses, we can get some good tokens, some good XP per hour, and just have a bit of fun, and so, something different. Never, never done Elite Dungeons, and I'm really looking forward to it. Just using up our Hydra lamps that we got from the keys, and that should be... There we go. 69. 69 Herblow. Nice. And just before we go, decided to get 67 summoning. I was only 10k experience off, and I had quite a lot of gold charms I need to get rid of anyway. So we've unlocked the War Tortoise now, so nice upgrade for our uh, Beast of Burden. So we decided to go to ED3. Now try and keep up with the levels here, because this place is crazy. The XP is amazing, the money is amazing, and the Dungeoneering tokens are amazing. Like, I'm just completely overwhelmed. Like, our first trip, 4.8 mil. We then purchased a split dragon tooth necklace so we didn't have to use prayer pots combined with the bone crusher. I also purchased corruption shot. I used the bond to get this, one of the ones that I had put away for the giveaways, but you will see later on that I do put that back eventually. I just used it because at the end of the day it was making the runs a lot faster, which is much more efficient. We were going to make more money. We just hit 80 range there. So yeah, from 70 to 80 range, like in this was under two hours as well. And I think we also finished on 73 defense as well. And after the second trip, we finished on 7.1 mil. So that's on top of the 4.8 that we made after the first trip. It's just, yeah, I couldn't get my head around it. It, it was crazy. And we're 100% going to be coming back here because for a mid-level account like me, where the moment I'm going to start trying to transition eventually from tier 70 armor to tier 80 armor, ED3 is definitely going to be one of the places that are going to help us get there. Just hitting 72 mining from this divine necrite rock. We managed to catch up with Golden Globe, who was the winner of our bond from a few episodes ago. So congratulations on that and enjoy. Just capping out the citadel and we got 61 wood cutting. That unlocks the dragon axe as well. Nice. There's 64 Slayer. Still on the same task. I managed to get 74 defense as well. Just doing my daily divine location and that's 62 wood cutting. Cracking on back again with a little bit more Slayer. There's 65, and also unlock Dust Devils. Just hitting 75 defense on this Grot Worms task. Do we get anything from that? Oh, we get quite a lot, actually. Okay, so all the War Priest. That means we can probably upgrade. Yeah, we can upgrade our War Priest, Priest of Tusker. So that's now 75 defense. I still don't know if that's actually of any use anywhere. Just let me know, because I got that ages ago, like when I first started playing again. Uh, sorry, when I first started playing about two years ago. Say first started, but first came back and yeah i've never really found a great use for it i know it has a critical strike bonus on something but i don't think it's fantastic and we can also get dinosaur hide armor um ganodermic equipment and spirit shields decided to use up some of our slayer points this is just going to give us a little bit more damage a little bit more a little bit more accuracy i think more than anything and a little bit more defense just continuing with a bit more slayer here and we've got a blood belt task and we just hit 71 magic on a Fire Giant's task now, 66 Slayer. Oh, and an attack level as well. We've got 72 attack. Nice. Another level coming in here at Fire Giant's. So that's 79 HP. Nearly 80, boys. Wow. Really? A curve bone? That's like 1 in 5k. And I think I've had... Uh, yeah, four. I've had four long bones today as well. They're like 1 in 500. What is going on? Another attack level there. 73. 73 mining coming in. Just got 75 mining. That's a requirement for Plague's End. So that's another Plague's End requirement done. Still got a few to go, though. Got quite a few quests to do as well at some point. Okay, there we have. Edgar's Ruse done. A bit of an annoying quest. It's more tedious than difficult. It's not difficult at all, to be honest. It's just a lot of running over the um, the, the mountain, you know, the Troll Mountain. So, yeah, but no more of that. Because we now have the ability to use the Trollheim teleport spell, which is awesome. I'm also going to look into the Gob Wars teleport spell and see what quest we need for that. Because I, I do want to unlock that. Because then at least at, at the best we can just teleport to Gob Wars. And we can start start doing some bossing really. Because I think Gob Wars is probably a good place to start. Especially for my uh, 
my range level, I might just start with Kriara. So I'm going to look into that. And also with that quest, we got 11k Herbal XP, which is decent. And we also just passed 150 quest points. So we can go and visit May now and get a reward for that. So we've got our tier 2 dice. Let's see what we get. I'm guessing it's going to be in the region of 750k, I think. I think that's what the last one was anyway. So it's 500k and... Oh, so it's a mill. That's nice. I noticed in the shop as well, she has all these unlocks. Um, not going to go through them. You can come here and look at them yourselves. It's they're all pretty self-explanatory, but I think what I'm going to go for... Still got 150 quest points. Fully unlock the lower Halm pet. So you basically get the pet. We get the um, lower almost supply, useful quest supplies. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Lower Halm can retrieve books from the player on bookcase when in a bank area. Unlocks the ability to change the lower Halm's out for each outfit's associated quest requirements. Having the Lohan active increases the range of area loot, which is very good. And having the Lohan active increases the chance to find certain lore books. So, again, nothing special, just a little cosmetic. I think he looks cool, so let's check him out. Who's a good boy? <laughs> He's pretty cool. I like him. I do like him. He's pretty awesome. He's called Didymus. So, take supplies. So what can we get? Rope, lantern, spade, emergency lore runes. That's pretty good. All right, that's Jungle Potion done. Got a quest point and a measly 775 Herbal or XP lamp for that. The reason that we're doing this quest, though, is it's a prerequisite for Shilo Village. I want to get Shilo Village done because then it's going to unlock Duradel, which is a much better Slayer Master for my level. Um, Simona's giving me some pretty shit tasks, so hopefully Duradel's going to come up with the goods and give us some good tasks. Okay, there we go. That is Shilo Village done. Pretty easy quest. Again, just a little bit of running around. We now have access to Shiloh Village, Gem Rocks, and we can travel between Shiloh Village and Brimhaven for 2,000 coins. Also, that means we now have access to Duradel. So I just came here just to see what task he'd give us. <laughs> it's the first task. 71 Iron Dragons. I suppose they're not so bad on here and it'll probably go pretty quick compared to old school, but I was never a fan of an Iron Dragons task on old school, put it that way. There we have first Kree kill. Like, <laughs> I think my, um, yeah... I think my inventory setup might be a bit off, <laughs> to say the least. Okay, so I don't even think we broke even for that instance, for paying 200k, so need to reassess my inventory and sort of work out what's going to work better for us, because the guide I followed, I presume, is more for higher levels, just with how much food I burnt through, and I don't have soul split either, which doesn't help. So I've decided for this trip, I'm just going to try the, like, the non-instanced version, and just see if it's, obviously, because I don't want to just be smashing 200k every time for like three or four kills, if that's all I can do. It's, it's just not worth it. It makes no sense. So we're just going to do it as it is without an instance. Has 76 defense coming in as well. Got really smashed up in that fight. Like we used a lot of food. Managed to just slip the kill in. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, so yeah. Wasn't great. I think that was the fifth kill. Fourth or fifth kill. Wasn't amazing. Let's just check the loot out just for the sake of it. Can't really add up the coins because uh, I'm not quite sure how much I got. But yeah, this was... Why have I picked the feathers up? What the fuck? Yes, that's dismal. <laughs> but at least we didn't pay for the instance, so... Yeah. Probably paid for the potions, that's about it. Probably going to leave this for now. I might come back with a friend, just to see if it's... Uh, well, it should be a lot easier with a friend anyway, especially at my level. I think maybe once I hit 80 defense... I, I definitely Using a crystal ball I don't think is the best idea either. I could really do with a royal crossbow for something like that. And maybe some, um, some tier 80 ranged armor as well. Okay, Song from the Depths done. You might be wondering why I'm doing this. Or you're probably not wondering why I'm doing this, because all of you are a lot better than me. <laughs> or a lot more advanced than me, anyway. But we did it for the Coral Crossbow. Our reason I'm getting the Coral Crossbow is because we're going to go and attempt, and I say attempt, the QBD. So, we can make a Royal Crossbow. Because I've been 80 range for a few days now, and I'm still using Crystal Bows. So, I thought Crystal Bows are okay, obviously, for levelling up here and doing Slayer or whatever. Uh, but for level up invention that is but i need a decent tier 80 weapon especially if i want to go back to kree or anything like that i'm saying i'm thinking about doing a jad as well so taking a royal crossbow with me to do jad's just going to make it five times easier so you need 70 smithing for this if you bring your coral crossbow and the four pieces that are required to assemble the royal crossbow 
to Thurgo here. Turn them in. He's going to make you a royal crossbow unforged. So now what we need to do is we have to brandish this crossbow in front of the Queen Black Dragon when she's spitting out her fire, basically. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be uh, interesting to say the least. Because I've got to get to phase four, which is the last phase. So hopefully we get the kill as well. That'd be nice. Future Ash here. I forgot to record my sound with this bit. So this is my second attempt. The first attempt, I had to teleport out because I forgot my familiar. So I ran out of food. But yeah, I just died a stupid death. Just panicked, really. And I should have done a lot better. But deserved it. I did try and um, take on board what happened here. And uh, took it into the next fight. Okay, so we killed her, but... <laughs> I don't know what I did. I couldn't work out how to, to brandish it. Strange. I don't think I did something right then, so... We'll try again. <laughs> right, let's see what we got anyway from the loot. 269k. Nice. That pays for the death that we just had anyway. Oh, shoot. I did it. 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 I died, but I did it. <laughs> I died, but I did it. Thank fuck for that. Yes, reclaim your items. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Lovely. And it's another 235k. We got 235k from the previous kill. And we'd obviously died the other time, so we lost like 300k, but yeah, it's whatever. We got a crossbow. Well, let's actually go try and kill it properly. Okay. That was a lot easier. So, 3 minute 55, new record. Let's go see what we got from that. Oh, 400k? Oh, yes please. That's another kill down and 316k. And another one. Oh, 124k. Not so good. New PB though. So decided to come to the Califact King with our Death Touch darts. Let's see what we get. 289k, not bad. 20 blue charms as well. That's pretty good. 60k. Yeah. Oh, 7k. 5k. That was so bad. <laughs> well, we might as well do a price check anyway and just see if we got... Well, we know we, know we didn't get anything decent. There's no point um, trying to build that up. But, I mean, for free, 366k. What, what are these chitting things? I don't even know what they are. Oh, so they're used to repair dry gold weaponry. Okay. Back at QBD, and our first chest is 82k. Oh, nice. 291k. I'll take that. Three minutes, ten. That was, that was a good kill, because she kept going into a blue phase, which is weak to range, so that really helped us. She did that twice, I think. Let's see what we get. 400k? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, first unique. Rail sight. Shame these aren't worth jack shit anymore. 200k? Another unique. Back-to-back -back uniques? God, why are these worth like 100k each or 200k, whatever they are? So bad. So I think this is most of the loot that we got. So let's see how much we made. 1.4 mil. I'll take that. That's really good. There we have 60 fletching. Only got two stats below 60 now, I think. That being construction and invention. Let's see what we unlocked from that. If it's anything worth doing. Not yet. So we're just going to carry on with maples for now. Hey, 80 hit points. Oh shit. 80 defense. 81 range. 81 HP. 82 range. Alright, so we've leveled up the chest plate to level 10. All these EDs, man. Smashing it up. There we go. Let's do that. Oh, 34 invention. So, can we do out the components? Charge drain reduction, one. That's good. And junk chance reduction. That's good. So let's bang that back on. Keep leveling up. We've nearly leveled our crossbow up as well. Let's just see what we got from our um, unlocks before. So 80 defense. We can use Bane armor. Linz's armor. I don't know what that is. Profound decorative armor. So so much stuff here. I haven't got a clue what it is. Uh, Torva, Pernix. They're the ones though. They're the ones that we definitely want to get. Uh, Attune crystal items by the looks of it. Ancient defenders. Animal core armor. And I think that's it. That's really good. Obviously HP as well, unlocking the Torva, Virtus and Pernix. And 82 range, we can now use Unload. So we're coming to the end of the video, and it's time to pick a winner for the bond from the last episode. So let's see who wins our bond. We'll pick a random winner. Good luck, everybody. And the winner is Dark Tears. Congratulations, your RSN is uncivilized. Add me in-game, I will add you, I'll come find you, and give you your bond. That's all for today's episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, click subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to never miss a video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.